So, I haven't done, like, a video blog type thing in a while. Um, well, I was watching one of my old ones, and cause I did it on my laptop. Thinking's a little bad. But, um, <clears throat> I figured that since I'm bored and I have nothing to do, um, that I would make a blog. Alright, so firstly, I'd like to say that when you're finished watching this, um, go watch my best vacation ever video, my Florida vacation, um, which I'm going to put this as a video response to that, and if I can, I'm going to make that a video response to this. Yeah. Um, because, you know, it's an awesome video. Full of awesome people. Um, but anyways, I'm going to continue with this video. Um, because I don't want to be too long or anything. Don't want to ramble on too much. Wait, okay, so... Um, I decided I would, you know, get a little bit more organized, and I wrote down some topics. Yeah. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to start with my first topic of Michael Jackson, which everyone knows, you know, Michael Jackson's it's everywhere right now. All anyone's hearing about. Um, firstly, the song that's playing in the background is Don't Stop Till You Get Enough by MJ. Um... Now, I've never really been a person to really listen to Michael Jackson. I'd never had any Michael Jackson songs before my trip to Florida, because Johnny gave me a bunch of Michael Jackson stuff, with all the other music he gave me. Um, and, you know, I was about seven or eight before I had my first Michael Jackson song, and it was the song that he did for Free Willy, and it was the music video at the beginning of the VHS tape. That was my first Michael Jackson song ever heard. And I loved it. So I remember being slightly confused by him. Because I'm kind of like, kind of weird, but, you know, just, but I knew that I loved the song. Um, you know, 80s Michael Jackson, no matter what, he was a genius. Just the stuff he did in the 80s and the stuff he did as he was a kid in the 70s. Genius. He had talent. There's no doubt about that. Then the 90s he started getting a little weird and crazy. And as he got older, just he got started to get really messed up. Um, my theory as to why he was so crazy and insane and just not normal, you know? was because he didn't have a childhood, because his father pushing him and all that. I figure if he had had a childhood, then he probably would have had, you know, an easier time at life and all that. But, um, yeah, um, but no matter how crazy he was, uh, you know, whatever he was in the news for, you know that he loved his three kids. He may have dangled the youngest off of a balcony when he was a baby, but I don't think, I think he was just overly excited. He just, no matter what, like, he loved his kids. And you can tell that by, you know, Paris, what Paris said about him being the best dad ever at his memorial service. Right? And I think the world needed to hear that from one of his kids, you know, because unfortunately the, it's, well, it's kind of good, but it's sad that it had to happen, you know, if he died, but people will forget about all of the craziness and the strange habits of Michael Jackson, and they'll remember the genius that he truly was, which, you know, it's sad that it had to, he had to die for that to happen, but still, you know, it will happen. Um, but, yeah, so anyways, now I've got Michael Jackson music. And I'm not, like, listening to it religiously or anything, but if it comes on my iPod, you know, I listen to it. I'm pretty surprised how much I like. 
though I can't listen to Billie Jean. Because every time it was played at a school dance in grade 11 or 12, I was, would stand there going, why are they playing this song? I don't know, I just don't like Billie Jean. I don't. Um. Anyways, moving on, because I don't want to take this entire video up by Michael Jackson, like every single news station on the face of the planet right now. Um, my next topic, Hampton Tour Dates. Now, last week, Zach mentioned in a blog on Hampton.net, the tour dates will be released middle of next week. Well, it's now middle of next week, being Wednesday. So, you'd think they'd be up by now. <laughs> no, they are not. They are not up. And it's just... Why aren't they up? Hmm. Who knows? They are running on Hanson time. Which is directly related to Tulsa time. Which is behind the rest of the world. Um. So. Yeah. Um. Hopefully they will be up this week. And the new site's supposed to be launched this week too, so. Think, well, not this week, but soon. Why is it this week? I don't know. But the new site's supposed to be released soon, so. Um. So, um. Lots of new stuff happening in Hanson. But hopefully the tour dates are released very soon. I mean, the only date that's released is the September 28th show in California. And they say that that that's going to be the beginning of the tour. So hopefully, go up the West Coast and hit Vancouver. You know, because they have to go to Vancouver. Um, give us, you know. Back to back years since you missed us for so long. Um. Yeah. Hopefully. Um. But we don't know. You know, we'll know until two of these released. And they're not released yet. Hopefully they'll release this week though. Um. Alright, so enough of two dates and whatnot. Oh yeah! Strong Up to Break, the DVD. Yeah, it's supposed to be released. Um, sent out this month. So. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I pre-ordered it at the event in May, so fingers crossed. Send it. Um, alright. Um, third topic. <sighs> creating a Hanson fan. Now, creating a Hanson fan is actually easier than one would think. Firstly, you take one open-minded, music-loving individual. Sit them down in front of the Hanson Underneath Acoustic Live DVD and watch. And after a few songs, like, teach your children, they will either just be impressed, or they will end up ripping the DVD and making a copy of the DVD for themselves to watch, and will watch it a whole bunch of times. Well, you know, at least that was my experience on creating a handsome fan. In Florida, yeah. Actually, I think Johnny and his family and friends have probably watched that DVD more times than I have. Or at least about the same. I love that DVD, but I really don't watch it that much. Um, but anyway, it's really cool. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now, if only I could get people around here who do the same thing. Oh well. Got his metalhead friends to watch it, and they've loved it. So, um, um, I love it. Oh, and um, my hair's in pigtails just because I didn't want to have my hair in a ponytail, but I wanted my hair up. Yeah, yeah, I'm weird. Anyway, so I'm gonna end this video because <laughs> getting kind of long. It's like going on eight minutes. I'm going to end this video. Or maybe it is eight minutes. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm going to end the video. Okay. Bye. Nice chatting to you. Yeah, you're cool. You're awesome. Yeah.